Hi, you're listening to Lunchtime Gamers. I am Cedric, and we've got Josh here also. Hi, guys. So, we've got a very interesting soccer show for you today. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, we'll be giving our match predictions for this week's matches. Uh -huh, we're going to do a few matches. Um, we're going to talk about Liverpool versus West Brom. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, Manchester United versus Stoke. Uh, okay. <laughs> Chelsea versus Man City. I the think big that one. would be a very, very good match to watch. And we have a North East Derby, which is Sunderland versus Newcastle United. Interesting, the big interesting. One. A very hostile match, you know. I know, but mm, I think it would be a good match to watch. It would be a good match to watch. They always have goals, this Derby, from their history. Yep, yep, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first we're going to talk about Liverpool versus West Brom. So Liverpool has been doing very well, right? Uh, Suarez in particular. <laughs> Okay, um, let's take a look at the lead table. They are actually the third place now. Impressive. <laughs> they are I think this, this time <laughs> last season, they were quite low. They are about where menu is right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sadly, but yes. Uh, look how the tables turn. I think if you, if you put aside all of Suarez's mm -hmm. disturbing behaviour... Disturbing. His disturbing is a bit too light Okay, his Suarez, antics. Eh? Uh, but <laughs> I, I think he's actually a very good player. Um, just to remind everybody that we are actually Manchester United fans. Yeah. And, but we are not all that biased to a certain extent, you know. No, no, I, I like watching Liverpool's match also. Yeah, they they're playing pretty good um, currently, I think. Yeah. Actually, pretty good is a bit of an... Uh, a bit of an understatement. I think they are playing very good. They're doing yeah relatively well. Uh -huh. I think. What do you think of the whole the whole thing that Suarez beginning of the season he said he wanted to leave, then he don't leave, then now he's back playing and he's on form. Um, he's only been back for three matches. Yeah. Right. A more or less. Or, or, or about three matches for Liverpool. The Man U Liverpool. Yep. The what, what's the last match? Uh, Newcastle. Li New Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle. Liverpool. Liverpool yeah. And one more. What's the match? I can't remember. There's one more match. Yeah, but uh. Do you enjoy the last match? The last match? I did. He played well. He played very well, you know. Um, I think Brendan Rodgers has got something on about his squad here. They have the, they have a, you know, a very powerful force in front, up front. Sturridge. Sturridge and Suarez has been surprisingly doing, you know. Uh, but I, I think they're good. Force. They're good individually. There's uh -huh. not much teamwork between... No, no, no. They are actually... They have very... They have a lot of teamworks over. Teamwork I, I don't over know. There. When I watch Sturridge play, he's a tad selfish. Is it? Yeah, I feel. I don't know. Maybe from last season, I watched. He's quite selfish. Mm -hmm. But so far, I think he's pretty okay. Mm, okay. You know, um, I think they are quite undestructible. What I mean, happened to the it, other guy before, before? Uh, Sturridge. Uh, the other. Ooh, Veronin. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> Sterling. Is it Sterling? Oh yeah, Sterling. Uh, what happened to him? He's he's still playing here and there. Is he? I, think, I, I, I don't see I, him anymore. I think I saw him two two matches before. Personally, I think he's better than Sturridge. Really? No. I didn't, yeah, he I is. Think so. I, 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 he, maybe. He, he, he has a lot of potential, but but maybe he, maybe he has the potential to become a better player than Sturridge. But currently, he's a bit stagnant now. You know, last season there's a bit of a, a bit of hoo ha about him. I don't think he's that different from last season. You know. Yeah, but uh, I I know it's quite funny coming from a Manchester United fan, but <laughs> uh, it's 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 good to watch Liverpool play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, what about this match we're watching right here? This match we're watching um Chelsea versus Man City. Um, Chelsea has been playing very well as well. Since uh, Mourinho took over, mm -hmm. they ha they seem to be quite stable. They they, they, s they seem to know what they're doing. Their direction is good. Mm -hmm. They have been pumping up a lot of you know consistent good good consistent performances. And it's so always nice league. to see Mourinho's drama at the sideline. It is. Did you watch the last match? <laughs> yeah. What was up? I, I I I didn't really know what was going on, but he was quite upset. Uh, I, think, I think he was he was screaming at the referee for just the position of but the throwing. But that's not the first time you you see this kind of thing happen, right? Um, I mean, um, it's good lah. It's good in a way for the fans, where because Marino actually sat in the yeah. <laughs> sat in the fans, and they were they were actually very I'm, excited I'm, I'm about quite, sitting I'm quite surprised him. that they he didn't send him all the way in. They just send him to. Do they send managers all the way in? I don't think so. They do? No, they don't. They just send them up to the other uh, stand. I, I have quite a few fond memories of. Fond, is fond memories the correct thing? Interesting memories. <laughs> Alex Ferguson being sent to the stand. Do you remember? Yeah, more or less. But <laughs> a few occasions, right? Not surprising for Alex Ferguson, but mm. uh, talking about all this kind of funny thing, do you, do you watch the highlights for the QPR match? QPR match. Yeah, uh, the Harry Red Nap. No. <laughs> yeah, one of the fans, uh, I, if I'm not wrong, is the fans. Uh, the ball got got out. Uh -huh. The fans threw the ball towards him, hit his head. Really? He got really, really angry. <laughs> he turned towards the fans and uh, it was quite funny. Did the fan did it intentionally? Okay, in, in their defense, the player who's going to throw the ball uh -huh. is actually behind Harry, right now. 
Okay. So it's in the g- general direction. So maybe they were mm-hmm. trying to pass the ball to him. I don't know, but <laughs> well, I mean, Harry Harry Redknapp is not young, so yeah, he's not young. I I think they should watch out yeah. if they are really doing it, you know, intentionally or something. I mean, he just had a heart surgery a few years ago. But he's he's a good manager. They should show him some respect, right? Uh huh. But who who do you think is gonna win this match? Chelsea versus Messi. Not on this match that they are commenting. Not the prediction. The real match. The real match. For me, Chelsea. Not mm. because I do not like Man City. Nobody likes Man City. Uh, okay, okay, but <laughs> right is that true? Uh, uh, to a certain extent. I'll not answer that, but <laughs> but Chelsea been doing really really good. Okay. So my bet is on Chelsea. Yourself? Hmm. Chelsea as well. Chelsea? Uh-huh. I think... Because you're a Man U fan? Mm, not really, but I think Chelsea is playing better currently. I agree. I but agree. then again, Man City is also doing very good. I think they are on... Okay, I'll tell you what I said. I think they are on par on each other, you know. On par? Yeah, I think they are on par. Okay. You know, uh, Man City did very very well in the past, in their last past few matches. Yep. I think they completely destroyed their team too. You know, the, the match before the international break. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I watched the match and you know, they were very good. They are passing as usual their true yeah, balls and everything. Wow. I know. You know. I guess very time good. will tell. It's a very interesting yeah, match. So, the derby. What about the derby? You mean Sunderland versus Newcastle? Yeah. What, what are your... You mean the match that I just uploaded? <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, so, impressions? What do you think? Mm, I think Sunderland has been doing pretty bad. <laughs> if we look at the league table, they are on the most bottom of the table. One point? With one point, uh, I can't even, I can't even add add the S to the point, you know. <laughs> Just a point, a point. But maybe they were, I don't know. Maybe the underdog, the underdog thing, you know. Underdog thing, but this is a derby, and things I'm, are I'm sure they'll go all right? out. Mm-hmm. Definitely, they'll go out. This are is a very hostile match. Good enough to face off against Newcastle. That's another thing. I think it's sort of like a Manchester United and Liverpool factor. Yeah. Even though a few. During the last few seasons, Liverpool hasn't been doing that well. But they but when, always win the derby. When it comes right? to derby, it's, it's really difficult to say, you know. Yeah. They let the passion take over and things are hard to, hard to say. I know, I know. So, uh, yeah. We move on to the all-important match for us. Mm-hmm. Manchester United versus Stoke. They better win this. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to see another draw, man. I, uh, last match, last match was so disappointing. I mean, they had a lot of good chances. Yeah. It, we we could argue that um that they are unlucky. They are unlucky. Or Southampton is actually really good. Southampton they played really well. Southampton was was how um they were playing very very pressing. Yeah, they press a lot and they were playing this off offside trap. Yeah, which yeah. caught Menu on a lot of yeah. occasions. Rooney and RVP, right? Uh huh. So. We have to give credit to Southampton as well. Actually, they played pretty well. They did well. I I I I was watching the match. It mm. got to a certain point where I was really upset. Not at Menu as a team. No, no, not at how good Southampton was playing, but at how bad Menu was performing okay. for their standard. It was really, really depressing. I think, I think I can sense you are trying to blame one particular individual, right? <laughs> I'm trying to blame two particular individuals. What are they? The manager and 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 his 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 little lap doggy over there. You know, Fellaini. Okay. <laughs> he he didn't really. I I don't know. Do you, you watch the match, right? Um, a bit a bit here and there. Yeah, uh, he can't maintain his position. Once he get the ball, he got his possession. He'll, he'll lose possession very really easily. Uh-huh. I I don't know. He seems. Man, you played at a very fast pace the last match. Okay. Relatively fast, like comparatively. Mm. So, I I feel that he can't catch up. Really? Yeah. But, a, but he 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 isn't exactly the fast. Tr- the fast I know, you know he's the he's the bigger kind of defender, mm-hmm. the midfield player. So he's bigger and he tried to maintain his his presence there. Uh huh. But his presence wasn't felt all that much. I didn't watch the full match, mm-hmm. but I watched the highlights. Okay. What what, what, do you, what do you think? I think um, but it's really unfair to judge through the highlights. You know. But yeah, I know. From what I saw from the highlights, he looks pretty sluggish. He is the home he, home. He didn't really did much. Uh, he played play for like uh, I'm not sure how long maybe 60-70 minutes then after that uh, well back took over okay yeah so I don't know I, I think they should play Kagawa instead Kagawa the, the mystery is surrounding Kagawa again Um, do you like Kagawa as a player? I, I do he's good at creating chances I feel uh huh and he's a lot faster definitely than uh, that's Lady. not bias right that's not because he's Asian right no no, no definitely <laughs> not I mean even if you play like uh some someone else, 
Okay. If he pull like uh Rooney back towards the more towards the center, mm -hmm. and he play like uh, Ashley Young okay. or well back in front, I'm fine with that because they are still fast players mm. and they can maintain their possession. Okay. But Fellaini, on the other hand, not so much. I think in his defense, he still he still need to get a bit. Get used you to know, the menu. Get things. used to the menu. Mm. Okay. But. Uh, but he is a very good player from what I saw him last season I, I, and do you, a few do you, seasons ago. Do you ago. think he's going to be like a Torres? When I say like a Torres, I mean... You know, I, I know yeah. what you mean. <laughs> um, I don't think so. You don't? I think he has a lot of potential in him. Okay. So far not showing anything. So far not showing anything. Um, so, taking, taking a look at the league table right now. Um, okay. Arsenal is on the top. Arsenal is on top. Arsenal is on top. What do you think I, about I it? I think it's about time. They they put in a lot of hard work and and and, and sweat into trying uh -huh. to perform. Okay. I, but the the question is, can they maintain on top, the top position? I I actually think they can. They they, can? Are, they are actually playing pretty well also, but not as well as Chelsea and Man City. But they are on top. <laughs> I okay. I think they will make it to the Champions League. This. I think I think this season is a very close fight. Uh, okay, on a side note, who do you think will make it to the Champions League? I think Chelsea, Chelsea Man City, Man City, Liverpool. If they continue, if they continue to play, okay. keep up the way that they are. Okay. And a fourth position, I think I think Man U will squeeze in a, a fourth, uh, a fourth place. You know? Okay. As for me, I think realistically speaking, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City. Really, the cu the current top four. Yeah, the current top four. They will just maintain. Uh, or maybe Arsenal will switch here and there, lah. Yeah. Know, rotating be between these four, yeah, these four teams. Four. Um, Southampton is six. Yeah, I think. Do you think they got they stand a chance to go up to maybe qualify for Europa League? Maybe, maybe. I think unlikely. I think unlikely. I I like to watch them play. I think. I think it's too early. Uh. I think Southampton, nah, not really. Maybe top ten. I think yeah. if they they can manage a, a top ten, it will already be a very good achievement from there. Yeah, I think it's still too early to tell. But mm. for one of the teams that just uh got pushed up to the Premier League, mm. Paul City. Paul City, okay. I think they are doing relatively good. They are pretty high in the table, right? Yeah, I think um what top ten or top just 10, over over ten? There. Yeah. I think, I think they are at nine, nine or ten. Yeah. I think they will be a team to watch, the underdog. Maybe they won't do like a uh, top of the table kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they'll get pushed back down to Champions League. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they actually have a couple of uh, EPL players. Ah, really? So when, when I say EPL players, like, you know, from last season. Ah, okay, okay. Because they're newly promoted. And yeah. then I think they bought a few players. Okay. I think they have Hodgson, you know, yeah. the Tottenham player. Mm. The very tall guy. The tall guy with Afro. <laughs> and they, they have a few more guys I remember. I think it's good that they inject this kind of uh, more experienced and seasoned player. Mm -hmm. It helps bring the team to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sort of like a, you know, a process of building up a team to stay at EPL. Yeah, definitely. So I've heard that um, there's a new patch for PES 2014. Uh -huh, um, it's coming in November according to the committee major, Adam. Okay. So tell us about this new patch thing. What are the differences here? Uh, this new patch is at actually hasn't been released yet. Okay. And but this is a very crucial patch. Okay. Because a lot of people is very pissed about the game right now. All, all the stuttering. Um. Uh, to me, mostly the stuttering. Okay. But there are a lot of other issues such as um player player awareness. Okay. Goalkeeper urgency. Okay. Um, frame rate issues on the PS3. Mm -hmm. Not talking about the cutscenes, although the cutscenes pretty bad. Frame rate wise, um, also the gameplay, okay. you know, they stutter and, yeah. and stuff, and the bugs here and there, um, and most importantly, the online stability. There's, it's not really stable online now. Um, it, it isn't stable all. <laughs> yeah, in their defense, I think they're good. They're putting in their effort to actually remedy mm -hmm. all these problems. I mean, they they better make it a playable game by yeah. this November. Because I'm sure they will. Uh, I'm sure they will. Because um, they have a track record. They they doesn't have a very good track record on. <laughs> you know, they always releases very unfinished games. So, hopefully, we will see a change in November. Yeah. So. Yeah. Alright, this is it. We've come to the end of the video. Do sound out at the comment section below on what you like and what you don't like and your predictions as well. And subscribe to us if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Alright.
Jakarta. One last chance, perhaps. We are entering stoppage time. Well, time is running out. They need to start pushing forward. Long pass forward. As Philly Quetta is there to intercept. Building up nicely. Only two minutes to be added on. So that's it. It's all over. This could be put down as a victory for a set of defenders who all kept their focus for the full 90 minutes. Well, so 